Okay, just a quick video to talk about the element class list property. So inside every element in the DOM, so every tag on your web page, paragraphs, divs, h1s, whatever the tag is, every one of the elements has a property called class list. Inside of class list, there is a method called add, a method called remove, and a method called toggle. Add is for adding a CSS class to that element, remove looks for that class name that you provide it and if it's there it will remove it from this element and toggle looks to see if it's there if it's if it is it removes it if it's not it adds it so it does both operations so let's take a quick look at the code and see how this is going to work here's the uh, web page that we were just looking at I've got three paragraphs inside here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a click listener onto each one of them when I click, I'm going to toggle the class. I'm going to add a listener for mouse over to add a class, a mouse out listener to remove the class. All right, so I'm waiting for DOM content loaded in my script, and I'm going to run my code to add the listeners at that point. I have two class names here up inside the head, inside my style tag. Class is called A and B just to change some color and font sizes. All right, so let's um, add the listeners. My three paragraphs here, I will um, say let paras equal document query selector all, because I want to fetch every one of them. And I'm going to look for all of the paragraphs on my page. Now these paragraphs, this will be an HTML collection. It's not an array, but it is very similar to how the array works. We can do a for in loop to look at all of them. So for p in paras, and we should be declaring that properly. So let's put a let in front of that. This is my counter basically inside of here. And we will say paras sub p dot add event listener. And there will be a click listener. We will call a function called clicked. And then I'm going to do one for mouse over and one for mouse out. So add a, remove a, and on clicked, what we're going to do is we're going to toggle. So mouse over will add the class A, mouse out will remove the class A, clicking is going to toggle the class B. That's just what we're going to do. All right, let's create these functions. Function clicked passes in its event. Function add A passes in the mouse over event. And function remove A. And these are not special names in any way. These are just names that I've arbitrarily chosen for my functions. Same thing with ev. It's not a required variable name. This is just a variable name that I selected because to me ev represents the event that is being passed in. So inside of here we're going to create a variable called p and that will be ev.currentTarget. And that will be our paragraph that was clicked. Inside here, ev dot current target. That will be paragraph that was moused over. And misspelled ev here. There we are. So we're adding the listeners to all three paragraphs. When I click any one of them, this ev.currentTarget will tell me which one of the three so that we can p dot class list dot toggle. And it's looking for a string. The string will be the name of the class that we want to add or remove. So we decided we we're going to do 
A for the mouse over mouse out, and we're going to use B for the click. There we are. And that's all there is to it. P is our element. So EV is the click event. EV.currentTarget is the paragraph, which is the element that we want to work with. And so the element.classList.toggle. This will add or remove that class. So let's take a look at our page. And we should have our listeners here so that when I click, all right, click is showing up, but I'm not seeing anything showing up. Fabicon, no, that's not an issue. Class list toggle B. And in here we want to add class A, and in here we want to remove class A. Make sure this is oh, okay, there we go. So there's the mouse over working, mouse out working. So you can see it's adding the class B, the um, or sorry, the class A, the purple large text, and then clicking. There we are. Clicking, I've added class B, so I've toggled it. I've clicked one of them, or once on each one of them, that has added the class B. I cl click again, it removes the class B, and lets the class A. There we are. So the mouse over mouse out, that's adding and removing class A. So clear up class A. Off, class A, off, class A, off. But if I click on it, I'm also adding the class B. And because of the way my CSS is written, if we look up here, A and B are working with the same properties, but this is the order that they're written in. So if I've got both class A and class B on a paragraph, this one is going to win out every single time. And just to show that it is still working, I'm going to put a border on pixel solid red on the, in the class A. So when I add or remove class A, I should also see the border appear and disappear. Refresh this, make sure we've got the latest script. There's the red border. I click. Now, the red border is still there, but it's the green text. So there we are. You can see that the red border is appearing and disappearing as I do the mouse over mouse out. I click again to remove it, and I'm back to the font color and font size that were being used. So we can click on all three. There we are. Class B is added. Class B and Class A. Class B and Class A. Just like that. So, class list gives you access to the list of all the CSS properties that you would have on any element in your page, and these are the three methods that we will use to add or remove or toggle it's the same thing as if I had written inside here class equals and a class C and a class D and a class E and a class F. This is the class list. Whenever there's a space inside here, that's the separator between multiple class names. All right, so I will leave a copy of this code inside of uh, uh, as a code gist in the comments. The link will be there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.